All right, so Shirash Ibar, and this week's word is real, real short. Take a few seconds to decode this to see what you come up with. Don't be, don't be 
scared to say it. We all scream out wrong stuff. <laughs> all the time. The right, you got something up? Well, I was gonna, I was gonna say that the I can be possessive because it's a pronoun as well, so it can be my pathway to be established. Uh, or, of course, you could say the the ox. Well, in this case, the ox is the servant, so the servant's pathway to be established. Wow, wow. that's powerful. That's I even catch that because the I for us is a prefix for I or mine. So my path that's established. Wow. Wow. That's good. Wow. What path has been established in the beginning? Commandment. Physical place though. Uh, what did they what did the pagans turn this into, y'all? Look at the word. What did they turn this into in their pagan text? Eden. Mm. Ah. Y'all see how y'all was all mm. on fire? The first path of the seed, the seed being mm. established. Y'all see how it's some practical? It's the Garden of Eden. They turned the eye into an E. That's why you gotta check it. They, they, when they see the ox head, because their 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 machines can't print the ox head, they turn it to an I sometimes or E sometimes. So they they turn Adon into Eden. Wow. Eden is the first path that was established, or like all y'all was saying in different ways, the beginning of the seed. Because we all come from Adam. Y'all see how practical easy this thing that's is? Where life began. That's the spot right there. That's the spot. This is the next generation. Um, you're going to learn this by default. You're going to learn these characters by default by checking on the words. It's the same thing, though. You start on the right side and go left. So that, that you see where that green arrow outlined in red is? Right. That's the word Adon. You start with that. I don't know what to call that. What, what y'all, what, what, what kind of? Olive. 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 Right. So Yo. whatever you want to call that, you start with, what it look like? Uh, um, it looks like a, a N almost. It looks like an N. Yeah. So start with a character that looks like an N and go right. And like Sister Karim was saying, they say that's the Aleph, the Dalet, and the and the Noon. For us, it's Adana. It's Adan. Can someone read what Adan is? Uh, consists. It's a uh, a foundation, uh, one of a of a column, a base, or a pedestal, and then two um, of a house. Mm. When y'all all saying that, when y'all on going that way? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where is Messiah taking us back to when Father wow. comes down? Wow. Not house. not when sun when, when the sun go comes we're in e of Israel when his father and your father come where we're we going to the house. mansions we're going back to oh, to Eden. the garden we're going back to the garden let's go remember Revelation says they had no need of sun or moon there for mm -hmm. Yahweh and the Lamb is there mm -hmm. this is going to be our final resting place at the very if we make it we got to make it. When the sun comes, we're going to be in where David ruled. He's going to be ruling in David's kingdom for a thousand years. But those who make the, the sun, if, if you keep your nose clean in the sun's kingdom, his dad's coming down. And when his dad comes down, we're going to a new Eden that this world never seen. Mm. Base, home base, mm. home base. Adam. No dying. No, no dying. Dead. No, no more bleeding, no more tears. No more nighttime. No more nighttime. Mm. You just fishing all day, whatever you want to do. My <laughs> think, hey, Trout, get in the bucket. <laughs> okay, right. Sure, oh, yeah. You might turn into, <laughs> right. Right. You turn into, yeah. you turn into the fish yourself. Yeah. <laughs> get my bucket. <laughs> oh, you want me? Y'all want you? Let me get your friend too. <laughs> That's where we're going back to, y'all. That's where we're going back to. So. Y'all remember how, um, how many been around long enough to hear me say that when you start doing your own studies, you find things when you're not looking for? Mm -hmm. How many been around long enough to hear, hear me say that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Learning something on the way to learning something. Yeah, and, and I, I stole that from an elder. I'm like, it's wisdom. And this happened to me the other day. I, I wasn't looking for this information. I was, I wanted, and these screenshots are coming from, um, 
Williams Tisdale lexicon, the, the Blue Letter Bible, and most of the lexicon online is based on this on this lexicon, Tisdale lexicon. So I wasn't even looking for this information. I was trying to give y'all a screenshot of a Don. And while I'm looking for a Don, my eyes just drop it down the page. I'm like, what is that saying? So I got to go there. Uh, can you help us out here? Just, just the red part. The word up there on the screen at the top left for y'all is A D R. In their in their graph, it's hard to tell an R from a D. That's why their that abstract writing is garbage. In our way, you could tell an R from a D right away. But when they went to this language, it looks like two R A A R R or A D D. Like how do you know? But that word is A D R. What is I'm saying? A D R. A dar. A dar. What's a dar? A month. A month. <clears throat> Can you read this for us out? A dar, the twelfth month, the twelfth of the Hebrew months, from the new moon of March to that of April, according to the rabbis. According to who? The ravines. Why did he put that there? A dar is the twelfth month of the Hebrews from new moon of March to April, but then he says, according to the rabbis. Who are the rabbis? Talmudists. The Talmudists. So according to the rabbis, a dar is the new moon from March to April, meaning when's the new, new year? From, oh, you said, uh... If a dar is the 12th month from March to April, when's the new year starts? May. April. May. Right? May. Well, April. 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 It would be April, right? April. Okay. According to the rabbis. According to the Talmudists. Right. Let's keep reading. And from the new moon of February to that, the end of March. Huh? What? I'm confused. Ooh. All right. The 12th of the Hebrew months from the new moon of March to that of April. And then it says, according to the rabbins from the new moon of February. No. So according to the rabbis. A dark goes from the new moon of March to April, which means your new year is going to start in April. That's why you put according to the rabbis, that's how it goes. But generally, from the new moon of February to that of March. Y'all see that? Yeah, it's just written it's weird. Because yeah, like, all of that is in parentheses. Yeah, I'm going to say it looks like it's saying. From new moon of February to that of oh, March. Oh, so uh, what's in parentheses is according to the rabbis from the new moon, from the new moon of February to that, to that of, of March, March right. is what the rabbis, according to the rabbis, February and March are. That's what I'm seeing because that's yeah, all in parentheses. So according to the rabbis from the new moon. The power of the commas. You see how this comma is giving so much trouble? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now you got commas and semicolons in my text. <laughs> So the way I'm reading it is he's saying the rabbis say the first thing, that the, that Adar is from March to April. and But then he, he didn't put it who says from new moon of February to March. Well, they're all in parentheses and brackets, right. so they should all go together. Right, so the comma is making it hard to distinguish what he's putting on the rabbi. Is he putting on the rabbis the latter half or the first half? I put the first half. Right. right. That's how I'm reading it. It's bad. This is because, yeah, it's it's confusing. Because it don't say, like, either way, though, either way, it would fit, I think, the point that you're trying to make. Right. So, you, so it still checks out. For the last three years, our 12th month has been coming in February. Mm -hmm. And by the time March is coming in, we're in New Year. But because Rome's calendar is drifting, Last year, I think February like 14th, 15th was our new year. But that's Rome's calendar going off. Rome is already missing four, 11 days from 1594, 92 something, when he just, that Pope just took 11 days off the calendar. That's why Rome's calendar is never going to be on, on point. But you got people trying to follow Rome, and then you got if, if you're doing things with the Khazars, I would definitely, like, whoa. If you're on point with those fish people, if all your days are lined up with the fish people, that's reason to wait. What are we doing?
Because they're not following anything in the Torah. They follow the Kabbalah. So you guys process this in your own way. The comma is making it hard. The way I saw it is he's saying that the rabbis, the Talmudists, is saying that Adar is from March to April, meaning they're going to start their first month in April. But the latter half, I, I process it as what really is the new moon of February to March. And your new year is coming in in March. But you process how you process it. But what's missing from this? What's missing from this? From this ADAR definition? Huh? What's missing from this ADAR? The word or the, the, the meaning of it? Uh... And also, um, can you read, before we uh, go there, can you read the, the last of, of the definition? Where it says the six? Yeah. The, okay, yeah, it says um, the six of the Syro Macedonian or Greek mm -hmm. months. The etymology is uncertain. Perhaps this month is so called from the flowers and trees being so splendidly covered with leaves. Mm. <laughs> and then it's, yeah. Yeah. So that means it's not winter. Because yeah. winter, you don't have no leaves on the tree. Mm. And he says No, but, but this is saying that this is it's the sixth. It matches the Greco, the Syrian Greco month. It's oh, their sixth month. Right. Six months. But it's the twelfth month, and he's saying the leaves are splendidly on the trees. Why are why would the leaves be on the trees in the twelfth month? Because it's getting ready to change over. The twelfth month of the year, you start to see leaves again because it's getting ready to change over. Did y'all see that picture I shared this morning? Mm -hmm. Two walked outside six o'clock this morning. Two dandelions with afros in my front yard. Mm -hmm. So when I read this definition, I says. I don't like to use the word adore because our ancestors picked it up, huh? I said, not afros. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. You see the picture had two perfectly round afros. So that means if these are not old ones from, from left over. These are new. That's the point I'm making. These are new skin <laughs> lines. That's the point I'm making. But, so when I read this definition that the leaves are splendidly displayed on the trees in Adar, which is the 12th month, I said, okay, well, how can we pro process ADAR? Real quick, use your boards and, and, and write the word ADAR and process how we would use ADAR. Now, I don't use this as a month thing because we got it in Babylon. So it's not in the Bible. It came from when we was in Babylon. So I don't use this month when we, when we make the calendars. So I'm not sure if it's still Babylonian deity or not. But use our letters to write ADAR, and then let's see how we can process what, what ADAR is saying. Because the Babylonian language is very close to uh, Hebrew. And remember, this is on the same page or, or the next page after Adon. Adon is in Adar. Adar, Adar, A D R. What characters y'all use? Uh, Adar Ra. Ra. Anybody get something different than Adar Ra? So, as a Shemitic person, as Israelites, if we see Adar Ra together, what are some of the ways we can process that? Like the the first strength of like. I want to say of the house, but of the, like of the path, almost like similar to um, Av Yav, like the first, like because it's the first thing that's coming out of the ground. It's similar to that. Y'all see what he's saying? Mm -hmm. Anybody disagree? Leading to the head. So now Jesus getting us closer. It's the twelfth month, and we know Ava just don't spring a new season on you. There is no spring. Uh, it's winter and summer. Leading us to the beginning. That makes sense. That's it. 
I'm proud of you, Miss Jane. That's my wife. Uh, I'm going to stay with her. <laughs> you see how she did that? So Athor is our 12th month, but the next month is the new year, and we know in the new year we got to have new corn because we're about to go to the Feast of Unleavened Bread. So Athor is leading to the opening of the first things, or the strength of the first things are coming. You see that? Mm -hmm. And now, just this morning, what a coincidence, I come out the, in the front yard, it's two first day line. And two, at the job, some of the trees are withered, but it's like some of the trees are blooming already. Yeah. You have to pay attention to the older trees. These new trees don't know what to do. You have to look yeah. at the old trees. Mm -hmm. Nice fight. Those yeah. new trees are hybrids. Yeah. 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 Look at the old ones. So, I just... To share this, I, I was like, man, I'm so tired of the calendar, but we got to always do it because we got new people come all the time. I'm just thankful that we got people who have been taking the mantle, who got strong understandings. Shamaria, Naraya, Chef, Yasha Yah, they really grasp it, not because they've been indoctrinated, but they went and did their own research. So I'm really tired of it, but we got more witnesses. The 12th month is ending the year, and you start to see things blooming. And then the first month, it's just going to continue to grow and get stronger. And even in their system now, we start to see things start to, to bloom. We're in our 11th month. So, you know, you do what, it, what you want with it. But what what's missing from this Adar being a 12th month? A second Adar. You sharp to death. Uh, yeah. You sharp to death. Is there a second? This theologian is giving us Adar as the 12th month, why didn't you mention Adar 2? You didn't even mention Adar 2 or, or, or the possibility of an Adar 2. Y'all see the point I'm trying to make? For those of you unaware, some people practice 13 months, and it's all subjective, but it's like, I can't find 13 months in a scroll. And then when they mention the 12th month in your Bible, it's never a, a, a possibility of a, of a 13th month. I think this might be, and this is going to be, to your point, even stronger, but I think this is reading as the person, whoever did this lexicon, mm -hmm. is saying Adar now at his time mm -hmm. was the 12th month, which goes from at his time, March to that of April, but according to the rabbis who were probably older than him, the new moon of February to that of March, which was enhance your point that it comes in earlier on the Roman calendar. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Again, it's how you process their commas. I, when I read it, I'm like, because me, and that, I guess that's me not being fair with the rabbis. Not all the rabbis were, even in the rabbis, they had splits. Anybody heard of, of a, a chirite? A chirite means I only, I'm only going with what's cut in stone. That's where you get the word carrot from. 24 carat gold. Carrot, that's how you know they, they need us to speak. Because mm -hmm. karat means cut. So a copyright Israelite, all the calculations you're coming up with and all those little uh, 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 Barney theories you're coming up with, miss me with that. I'm going with cut in stone with Masha God. That's a copyright Jew or Israelite. So some of the, some of the rabbis were righteous best they could. So Shemariah's point could be valid that he's, the rabbis, this, this, whoever composes the lexicon is saying that the older rabbis, they said our door was from February to March. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a good, good point. Again, with their, with their language, a comma has power. A comma, ha, that little, little thing, hook, has power. So Shemariah very well could be right. I, when I first read it, I'm like, oh, he's telling one of the rabbis here. But Shamaria's point could be right too. Uh, for our artistic purposes, it's just another witness that those of the ancients knew that the 12th month landed in the Romans February. That, that's the point I was making. So great, great job, uh, Shamaria. Good, good point too. Any comments or questions about Adon or anything we went over? Anybody online have any questions? Did we lose people? No, nah, they still here. All right, if there's no uh, comments or questions, we're going to just go ahead and stand face Jerusalem.